Okay, so Greg, this is, seems more like a personal grudge match. No, I think it's an ideological uh, uh, grudge match. But in this what is, way? Because the, uh, progressives do not like Israel. This has been, a, a, if you go on the campuses these days, that's what you see. They always, they always see, again, in the, in the power versus the, po the powerful versus the powerless structure, the progressives will always see Israel as the villain. Why should we care now? Israel, whether you disagree with Netanyahu or not, there's a lot you can disagree with them on, they happen to be our pals in a lousy neighborhood. The problem with our, our country right now is our president is partying with the lousy neighbors. He used to be fr we used to be friends with the good neighbors, but now we're playing with the crazy neighbors. Israel is like that, is the hardworking family that mows the lawn. Iran is the country that's got a car up on blocks and a pit bull in the yard, and Obama wants them to have more pit bulls. Yeah, so like that's the problem. The problem, the reason why this election matters and the reason why this story is important is not just because it's Israel, but because of the context of what's happening now. Mm -hmm. You know, pit bulls can be nice, too. They can. You know what? You're absolutely <laughs> they right. They have to be pit bull, pit bull owners. Yes. Not, do not, I, tweet me all day long. Tweet, yes, yes. Send your complaints to Eric Bowling. <laughs> Cashing in. Well, Love pit bulls. Anybody who knows animals.